Okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue with uh, our JavaScript coding here. Uh, and I decided I'd go ahead and fix that uh, last example just to kind of reinforce what I was trying to show you about how we encapsulate the code. So again, I was kind of sloppy, and now I'm going to go ahead and fix this and encapsulate the whole code. So basically, I want the whole file to be one uh, JavaScript function. So I'm going to say window.onload equals function parens, and then we'll go ahead and start the function definition. Now I got all the way down here to the bottom and put a closing per, uh, squirrely brace here and a semicolon and now we're good. Now I have to change this. So originally I had this code in here. I still want start game to be called so I'll just put it like that. And I'll go ahead and save my file and uh, now let's go on over here to the index.html get out a live view I want to go to code view and really I don't like to put the script blocks like this I want them up in the head of the document here uh, like we have seen before so I'm just gonna move those and it shouldn't matter anymore because um, the uh, rendering is gonna be delayed so real quickly, let's go ahead and move that. Again, control save. Now let's go back into the live view and make sure I didn't break the code. Drum roll, please. Looks like we're good. Oh, I got lucky. I just grabbed that by uh, accident. Okay. So everything's still working. Looks like we're fine. It's just better. Um, and basically what I could do if I wanted to is then I could go in and start using a uh, JavaScript library like jQuery. Okay, I'm going to pause this for a minute. Okay, we're going to look at a new example now. Uh, I thought I'd try something simple I could build and show you. This is a three card Monty game. Uh, three card Monty is the game where you have three cards. Uh, you often have a, like a P or something under them. Sometimes with three cups, you pick which one the play. Uh, the dealer reveals it, and uh, obviously it's usually a game of sleight of hand. It involves some deception, uh, which we don't have here in this. So um, let's just take a quick look at this. I want to kind of talk about how I built this too. So first, let's go ahead and look at the uh, folder where I have my assets here. So um, I started this out with just some simple graphics that I made real quickly uh, in Adobe Fireworks. So I have an uncovered empty, an uncovered found, and then uh, a covered, and these are all PNGs again that I made with Adobe Fireworks. So when I was first doing this I didn't worry about how it looked at all, I just got it up and running. And then I went on the internet and found some royalty-free images that I could use. And so now I've gotten this far enough along that I'm using those. So if we go back in here and look at the code, here's the HTML, straightforward. We have our single uh, element here. We have a CSS, and I actually need to boot, put more work into that. So I haven't done much with that yet, as you'll see. And then here within the main, we just have three images, uh, which are going to be for the game. So uh, now, let me just show you what this looks like here in design view. Uh, so again, here are the three images. Got a background image that's tiling there. Um, and that's not really optimal. Uh, I'd have to use a graphics editor to make that blend better than it does. And right now everything is left center because I haven't done too much CSS. Okay, uh, let's go to live view real quickly. And uh, basically you click on the image. It says congratulations you won. It's not actually displaying the images correctly here in the live view. So let me go ahead and we'll go over here to Firefox real quickly. 
there's the same game when you click it says sorry play again I'm sure you will win so you see I clicked on this and here's the Joker so I want to try to find the Joker out of the three cards I'll hit OK again I'll play it again I lost again I clicked on the middle card and the Joker was on the left and this time congratulations you won you can see I clicked on the Joker and I got it okay now what's interesting about this is uh, it doesn't work in Chrome and I'm having some trouble figuring out why so it works here in Firefox and uh, I'm not going to bother to show you but it actually works in IE as well so uh, we'll talk about that as we go um, okay so let's look at our JS and uh, again here we haven't encapsulated this but here it doesn't really matter too much because all of the functions everything's a function except for the uh, variable declarations again I could go ahead and fix this like I just did with the other application so uh, we have uh, three reference objects for the images and then we actually have three image objects and I'm gonna spend some time talking about that because when you work with images you want to try to preload them uh, the idea is that if I have like an image rollover and I suddenly am using a new image for the rollover then the browser has to go ahead and fetch that from the server and often that'll cause a flickering kind of jaggy uh, uh, display issue uh, while it gets that. So the idea to preload the images is to download them onto the client. So uh, here I have an init function. Again, I almost always call a function that just sets everything up init. It's short for initialize. And um, usually I don't use this uh, if document images. That's a JavaScript kind of uh, 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 colloquialism. It just says if the browser document object supports images well it'd be a really old browser that didn't uh, the reason I have that here is when I was trying to figure out why it wouldn't work in Chrome so basically to preload the images what I do is I create some image objects so I actually am only using three images here the cover image that you see when we start the game the empty image which is the king and the found image which is the Joker so I've created three image objects cover image equals new image and then of course empty image equals new image and found image equals new image and then uh, in each case you assign the file to the source so this and you know that from your HTML if we go over it quickly and uh, look at the uh, HTML source code there's the source element and of course the markup starts out with the uh, cover image on there okay alright so what this does is it creates three image objects that are going to have that source and those sources will never change and I'll use that to swap the sources when I want to change them uh, dynamically again I just put this if else code in here because I was trying to get it to work in uh, Chrome and it's still not okay uh, here we get our handles so we have card one two and three in the HTML markup that's right here cards one two and three we go ahead and use the get element by ID to create handles for those and then we go ahead and assign a function to those and again I'm using a function that takes a parameter so you have to use this extra syntax where you use the function keyword and and you put the parameterized function inside uh, like that. I've showed you that before. Okay. And so we'll look at that play function in a second. And then we'll go ahead and uh, get a random number, which is the first winning card. And so the cards, basically there's three cards. This is going to give me uh, a random number from 0 to 2, which is three choices, right? 0, 1, and 2. Here's that play method, and again, notice the parameter here. That's going to be one of the integers, 0, 1, or 2. And we have a reveal function. If we come down here, 
reveal will set the cards up based on which one is the winning card. Again, this is going to be uh, 0, 1, or 2. So if it's case 0, the winning card is the first card. If it's case 1, the winning card is the second card. If it's case 2, uh, the winning card is, sorry, the third card. And then I do have a default there, but that never gets run. There's no way for that to be anything other than 0, 1, or 2. Okay? So if we go back here for uh, the play, it passes the uh, card that was pushed. So again, this is card 1, and so when the user hits play, it sends 0, which is the first card. If they hit the second card, it sends 1. If they hit the third card, it sends 2. We come in here. The reveal function will show the cards and it needs to know what the winning card is to know which one of these conditions it is. Okay, So again, there's only three ways to lay the cards out. It's based on that number. That number was generated here initially when we did the setup and then every other time after we push play it does that for the next game. Okay. Uh, so now, basically, if this button index, which is the card the player picked, is the same as the win card, then they won, and we put the alert up and says they won. Otherwise, we say nope and uh, ask them to spend some more of their money. And then reset simply resets the cards. Now, uh, I wanted to talk about this. So again, with the preloading, I've preloaded the three images into cover image, empty image and found image and so the way that you switch the images is here so this says card one source should be the same as found image source that means make card one show the king, uh, the joker and then card two and card three are going to show the king again here with the same thing card one is showing the king card two is the joker card three uh, is the other king. And then when we come down here, the reset basically covers the cards again and it takes the cover image and assigns it to all three of the cards. So that's how you do that. I'm really not clear why that doesn't work anymore in Chrome because that's been a part of JavaScript for a long time and uh, I actually found some notes saying that that didn't work anymore and my best guess to fix that is I'm going to have to actually rewrite the markup itself, not switch the uh, image. So I haven't done that yet. Um, let's go ahead and look at our CSS here real quickly. Again, I have very little here. There's the uh, image background there. I got that. Again, I just did a search on uh, royalty-free uh, texture images. And then, uh, I'm not really sure why this isn't working. This should uh, go ahead and center uh, the H1 element. Sometimes you have to use the text uh, align equals center to do that. But uh, the H1 should center because it's a uh, block element there. So, I'm not sure why that isn't working yet either. So uh, let's real quickly see if we can fiddle with this a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some uh, margins on this. So I'm going to do margin. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make this like 2 EM. That's a pretty small margin, but uh, I want this to hopefully work on a uh, small form factor device as well. And then... Uh, I think I'll try the text align on here too. So let me see. I'm not sure why we're not getting our uh, IntelliSense here from Dreamweaver. That makes me suspicious, like I've got something wrong here. Let's see. There we go. All right. So text dash align. And then we want center for that. Alright, control save. Let's pop on over here, go to live view. There we go. So now everything's centered. That's looking pretty good. Um, 
this one problem I notice is this doesn't show up very well so we should probably change the uh, color of the footer it looks like a lighter color might work better right now it just happens to be on that dark portion of the uh, background but we can't count on that so uh, again I'm gonna go back here into the CSS uh, one thing I want you to think about here is you know you the last thing to do is make it pretty so I mean I started off with a bare bones white page no color or anything I used uh, real simple placeholder graphics just to get it up and running and then uh, you know I'm going back now and worrying about the formatting and that so that's usually a good thing to do okay alright uh, so let's just go ahead I'm going to want to show you what happens when we try this in Chrome too so we'll go here and uh, let's see are we still in live view yeah okay so let's undo the live view and then uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what happens in Chrome so I'm not really clear why but Chrome just ignores the uh, code to flip the image and so you see it says sorry play again I'm sure you will win so this is actually one of the kings but it didn't flip the cards and so it's not flipping them at all and uh, my best guess to fix this is that I have to just dynamically write the HTML uh, for the whole thing. And uh, again, I didn't have any luck trying to find uh, what was going on here with this. Um, but it does work in Firefox and IE. And uh, that's the kind of the first time that I've encountered that uh, issue. Whoops, didn't mean to get into Blackboard here.